everyone. I'm going to show you how to make a Google form really quick. Um, there's going to be two parts. The first part is just going to focus on how to make the form, and the second part will focus on how to make it pretty. So you're going to go to New under your Google Drive, and you're going to press More, and we're going to go to Google Form, and we are going to do a blank form. I never work from a template. Um, I think you have more control if you just do it yourself. And this is what your screen is going to look like. The blue line shows you which question you're currently on. Um, you can give your form a title. So I'm going to name my form, I don't know, like parent survey. Um, then you just click and you start making questions. You'll see that right here you could ask um, a question. You have So I could say, do you have internet access? And then over here I have choices. Do I want it to be a short answer, a paragraph, multiple choice, and all of these different choices. I'm gonna just put multiple choice right now, and I can type in what I wanted to say, something like, we sure do, or I can take their suggestions up here. Do I want one to say yes, one to say no, one to say maybe? I'm gonna just add all those. I can also add a different option. If you don't like the options that it gives you, you can remove them. And I always press the required button if it's something that I need everybody to answer. When you wanna ask another question, you just press the little plus sign. And so let's see. Oh, I forgot to ask what the date was. So I'm gonna to go to date and I'm gonna say, what is the date? And it automatically puts it in date format for me. And I wanna move this to be my first question so I can hover over it and I can move it just like that. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you one that I pre-made just to show you what all of the questions can look like. So this was the date. This is the multiple choice one. It lets everybody pick one option. This was a drop down menu um, choice. So they're gonna have one choice there. Check boxes, I always make sure I do check all that apply because you can answer more than one. This is a linear scale, so one to five, and you set what your parameters will be. This is something called a multiple choice grid, so they're going to have rows and columns. It will look like this on the sheet, so they have to do one thing in every row and column. The checkbox grid is a little bit different. It will look like this in the end, and they can choose more than one thing in each row and column. And then a paragraph answer um, allows them to write. The same thing with short answer, but the short answer um, stops them at a certain point, I believe. The paragraph, they can write as much as they want. Now, I'm gonna show you what this looks like once it's done. You click on the little eyeball over here to preview it. And this would be what anybody I sent it to um, sees. So anything with a red asterisk is what I've said is required. And you'll notice that that's gonna be all of them except for the last question. So when they get down to here, what is the date? They'll be asked to put in the date or they can just click the little calendar and put in the date. What's their favorite? They have to choose one thing. Do you like remote learning? This is a drop down, so they can pick one. This is a check all that apply, so they would check everything they like to do. What's the perfect temperature? Did one is freezing, five is super hot. What weather do you like on a beach day? Well, I would like it sunny. Um, and it says this question requires one response per row, so it reminds them, let's see, on a home day, I like it rainy. And on a school day, maybe I would like it cloudy. How do you work best? Well, in reading, maybe I work best doing all of these things. But in math, maybe I work best by myself. Writing could be with a partner and science is in a group. Do you have any questions or comments? I did not put required on this because some people are going to write something. Some people are going to say, no, I don't, and they're going to skip it. So I'm going to press no. And then someone would submit. And then it says they're done. When you want to see what people did, you'll go back to your original form in your Google Drive and you'll click responses. And you can see everybody's response. You can either have a summary of all, you can look at it by question, or you can look at individual responses. I'm going to show you how to make it pretty in part two.